This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey, that's okay. Cat hair on your socks is alright. You get used to it. I thought you just said you didn't want anyone to know, and now you're telling the story. What kind of business exactly? Since that day, Michiru seems to have gotten back into her normal rhythm, even cracking jokes at my expense. Everything isn't quite back to the way it was before, but she seems to have gradually regained her balance. Well, what else is new? This place is a circus! Twisted toes? That's nothing. Heard a story once about a journalist who got abducted by a terrorist group. They broke out of the pliers and... Hmm? Oh, alright then, I guess that's enough of that story! <laughs> yeah, that those the, that's the face of people who don't want to hear about terrorists torturing people. Understandable. Actually, yes! You dream about bad movie sequels that don't exist? We need someone normal here. Where's Yumiko? Can't believe I'm calling Yumiko normal when she tried to murder us. But you know what? She's probably the most normal person here. Also, excluding Principal, of course. Oh boy. Okay, cool. Hey, girl. Nothing in particular. Uh oh. Hmm? Michiru, stay here. The details are unclear. Keep quiet and stand by at your present location. Don't make me repeat myself again. That scream from outside sounded like Sakaki. Hope it's nothing serious, but... Sakaki, where are you? Respond! <laughs> Damn it, where is she? Sakaki! <laughs> oh, speaking of normal person. What is it? What happened? Oh no, she's crying! Oh, I just noticed, yeah, she is literally crying. That's, that's a real tear coming out of her right eye. It fell? What fell? Oh, is this turning into Chicken Little? Out of the sky? Why are you screaming about a cat? Cats are fine. A cat, you say? Like, out of a window? Out of a tree? Like, God said, hey, we need another cat on Earth? Like, how is this working? I follow Sakaki's gaze to find a familiar black cat bounding lightly away into a nearby hedge. Must have been wandering around this area looking for Michiru. Hmm. That's Michiru's cat, isn't it? No, you're misunderstanding. This was almost certainly pure coincidence. You most likely happened to pass by just as it was jumping down from a high place nearby. I doubt the cat did it out of malice, either. It's, it sounded like you were being murdered. There was literally just a cat jumping, like, talk about overreacting. Don't worry, Michiru and her wildebeest herd are here. I thought I ordered you to stay at your post, maggot! Why did you disobey me? Very true. True enough, but you can't deny there was a possibility of real danger. 
That's why I told you to stay where you were. I really hope you can figure that much out for yourself. Sky Cat. うん。もしかしてよ。うん。もしかしてだけど違ってたら気を悪くしないでね。それって猫じゃなくて雨じゃない。Me <笑> I know you have gaps in your memory, but you can't be that stupid, right? <laughs> Yumiko, do you ever leave the box cutter at home? Or is that just always on your person? <laughs> うう。違う。私は猫なんて飼ってないもん。それでその猫にじゃなくてどこの馬かわからない猫はどこに行ったの馬かわからない猫松島さん。猫と雨の違いはわかって猫と馬の違いがわからないのおう、プロフェ。は
二度二度泣いたけどああそうですね泣いたねじゃ呪いだこりゃうん猫の呪いだわ Well, depending on the visual novel, that actually could be the case, but I don't think there's real magic in this game. Did you just fall asleep while standing up? Nope. She just declared the cats don't exist, and now she's insisting on a cat curse. The word inconsistent itself is rendered meaningless in the face of this girl's irrationality. Me true, my friend, if you're going to keep a pet cat, then at least try to be stealthy about it. Man, imagine if you had a cat that literally just perched on your head. That would be simultaneously awesome and also terrible. That girl really does whatever she wants. To find Strom, because she did trip over in that baseball game recently. Haven't heard anything of the sort. Now, if people are denying reality, I, I treat them less sympathetically, actually. <laughs> hmm. And so, Mitru is more or less back to her old energetic self. If anything, I think her incomprehensibility factor may have even increased slightly. Slightly? I do understand, the girl's forcing out a show of cheerfulness to mask the continued instability of her emotions. And more simply, she's excited by her new pet. That said, no matter what the circumstances may be, this illusion and cat curse strategy strikes me as more than a little winceworthy, even by Michiru's standards. Guess I'll see if Chizuru can get me the standard cat vaccines. There's no telling what sort of viruses or infections a stray cat might have picked up. In some cases, feline intestinal worms can affect human beings. Michiru's stomach is weak at the best of times, so a little caution seems warranted. Yeah, gotta get the shots from the vet, just to be safe. Have to be careful about being too nice, though. Don't need a certain capricious creature getting emotionally attached to me. There's only one truth, but the same facts will inevitably be interpreted in wildly different ways depending on the viewpoint of the observer. The winner writes the history books, and they always come out looking pretty good. Not always. If you're searching for the absolute truth, you've got no choice but to wade through various accounts with a critical eye, painstakingly piecing together a more neutral perspective. But even then, cleverly distorted information can often throw your puzzle into a confused jumble. So how about this? Instead of sifting through everything you can find, dramatically restrict your sources of information. Ignore the third parties entirely and talk only to those who were directly involved. In most cases, they're simply not practical. Or that's simply not practical. But every once in a great while, it's an effective strategy. Coming in. As a matter of fact, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I did want to see you again, Principal. You're a beacon of sensibility in this horror show of a game. No, I see your face in my dreams every night. <laughs> what a smooth line. A real nice expression on it too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I just had a dream where we had a parent-teacher conference, and it actually went really well. Okay, enough joking around. Sorry to barge in like this, but there was actually something I was hoping you could get for me. Hmm. I do my job with the tools I'm given. This concerns my private life. I'd like you to get me a dose of a combination vaccine for a cat. And some flea medication while you're at it. Nope, it's Sakaki's. I'm on a leash myself. Why would I do the same to an animal? Anyway, I want to give that cat one of those free-in-one shots at the very least. And just for safety's sake, can you get it tested for the common diseases? I'll get a blood sample for you. 
待ちなさい誰のお金でやると思ってるの<笑>そんな勝手が許されるわけないでしょ<笑> Why is the school paying for a stray cat's vaccines? <laughs> That's a little bit of a scandal True enough, I guess でも相手は風見くんですものねサービスして Oh, putting the POW in principle. That's Chizuru. Well, I mean, she's great when she's not like, oh, is a student trying to murder you? Have you thought about what you could be doing to fix the situation? <laughs> You're still a help. Appreciate it. All right, then, I'll see you in my dreams. As I turn to leave, Chizuru grabs my arm to detain me. Oh, yeah, can I get a coffee maker in my room? Also, can I keep an iguana in my, in my dorm? <laughs> Leaning back in her chair, Chizuru pushes her glasses up her nose with the tip of her finger. We may not have spent that much time together, but we've known each other long enough. The woman can see right through me at times. Hmm. Well, it's not like I need to hide it, I suppose. It's about Michiru. The cat belongs to her, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's right. Principal knows all the secrets of all the students. I've learned that she's an extremely moody woman. Also, she sleeps in a room saturated with the sugary smell of cheap, artificially colored candies. Hey, Jolly Ranchers are delicious. Um, not the kind that you're thinking of, but we were telling some funny jokes in there. Nothing to worry about. I paid a brief visit because I had something to discuss with her. That's all. See? Principal is the best. Like, she's the best. Ooh, do we get a choice? I mean, I've already, I think I've already figured most of it out, but still. After all this wandering around following a trail of breadcrumbs, an unexpected bluebird arrives on the scene. Does Chizuru have the answers I've been looking for? Honestly, I'd be grateful. That said, you can't exactly email me your records, I assume. <laughs> Thanks, Principal. Alright then, let me ask you something. Does Michiru... <laughs> Is she a werewolf? I'm pretty sure she's a werewolf. That does not sound like a cat at all. Let me guess, discovering... Actually, I can't do that to Michiru. But for some reason, I don't feel like asking Chizuru the question anymore. If anyone's going to tell me Michiru's story, it should be Michiru herself. Oh, that's the same thing that happened in Sachi's route as well. Sorry, don't think I need that explanation after all. Shouldn't be necessary, really. If Michiru needs my help in some way, I assume she'll come to me herself. No, she won't. She's so stubborn. <laughs> Sorry to waste your time. By the way, get back to me on that iguana stuff. By asking Chizuru, I probably could have obtained a decent amount of new information. But when I remember Michiru quivering her under her blanket, I think I made the right choice just now. I can't help but feel that learning about Michiru's background without her knowledge would be a betrayal of sorts. Back in the school dormitory hallway! A few days later, after loading the vaccine Chizuru got me into a syringe, I decided to inoculate Michiru's mangy little cat. Uh, are you gonna tell Michiru about this? Because if you don't, she's probably gonna get mad at us. <laughs> Problem being, the animal in question seems to despise me. Maybe it's picking up on the lingering scent of blood? Instinctive hostility between against a fellow predator? Either way, it's a problem. Are you... I'm sorry, when you're cleaning these free story Taco Bells, are you getting blood on you? That's not good, Yuji. Making a dog behave itself is comparatively easy. They're generally not used to heights, so plop it down on an elevated operating table and it'll be too busy quaking with fear to thrash around. But cats outright enjoy sharply differentiated terrain. Subduing a feline requires different methods. If you cover their eyes and hold them steady, they'll generally settle down. 
Same goes for most animals, really. That said, there's no point in covering the animal's head with a paper sack and suffocating it, which leaves me with the most fundamental strategy of all, pure physical restraint. Yes, the cat is definitely hanging out in the rec room. Oh, don't worry, I'm just about to prick this cat. Don't mind me. Flash. Ah, so it's Amine, I, I see. Good timing, actually. Tell me, do you have a laundry net? No, I'll be using it myself. Don't worry about it. You are quite literally the last person on this planet I would trust with my underwear. That's not the issue here. I need the net to minimize potential damage. Are you going to lend it to me or not? Sorry, appreciate it. I'm not washing anything. Alright, see you later. Nope, just trying to catch a cat. Why in the world would you ever come to that conclusion? You're, you're delusional. I'm getting the impression that I've left Amine with a fairly serious misunderstanding, but I have other priorities that take precedence right now. Of course, we need the hilarious sitcom misunderstanding. I can correct her delusions at a later date. Well then, even among trained veterinarians, many have difficulty handling cats. Strays in particular tend to bite and claw. Need to be careful. Taking a pinch of silver vine powder from my pocket, I rub a little onto my fingertips. You're around here, aren't you? Come on out. I make a conspicuous rustling sound with the bag of powder, and before long, the cat wanders out of the brush to investigate. I bend down and hold out my hand. Most cats have a habit of sniffing at fingertips when they're made available. True, it's a great way of getting cats to introduce... Uh, introduced to you. The black cat isn't particularly fond of me, but the scent of the powder does its work. It walks up cautiously, bringing its nose to my fingers. And in that instant, your fate was sealed! Uh-oh. <laughs> Taking advantage of the cat's momentary carelessness, I pluck it up off the ground by the scruff of its neck and toss it into the laundry net I borrowed from Amine. How are you going to explain hair getting into this, buddy? Some would doubtless take exception to this strategy from the perspective of animal welfare, but I plan this out fairly carefully to ensure the least possible risk of lasting harm to the creature. As for those of you who still have complaints, I'll listen once you've liberated every pet on Earth from their collars and converted America to the vegan diet. Oh, brother. Until then, surely you have better things to be worried about. Bruh, meat is delicious. <laughs> Yeah, this, this does not sound like any cat on the planet. Calm yourself, animal. I mean no harm. It's a simple vaccination. Sometimes there are side effects, but rarely worse than a high fever. You won't die. Trust me. Yeah. Hmm. That's right. Go limp. Not like you can escape anyway. Yeah. Here goes. Mitra is going to walk in and be like, You've caught my cat and are killing it. Ah, I hate you, Baka. I take out a nylon cosmetics pouch from my pocket. Naturally, there's no makeup inside. This just happened to be ideally sized to inconspicuously store a certain pen-shaped syringe. Taking out the item in question, I carefully jab the needle into my furry foe's flank. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Good boy. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. Relax. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look! I totally called it! What? I agree, but this is not abuse. Ah, damn. I was completely caught off guard. To think I'd let you of all people take my back. The disgrace is unbearable! Go ahead, kill me! Apparently agitated upon by the arrival of its owner, the black cat violently rips open the net and leaps to freedom. Uh-oh. That's not good. We owe Amine a favor, and, um, that's a dangerous position to be in. They couldn't get, like, a halfway decent hissing sound? It is not difficult to make a hissing sound. Just like, shh. 
instead they were just like, ha, ha! It's like, what? What, what goofus had to record these lines? <laughs> Nothing bad. Don't worry about it. For some reason, I find myself answering Michiru's questions with the cosmetics bag and syringe held behind my back. Yeah, I get the message. Sorry about that. Convey my apologies to your cat as well. It literally just sounds like Mitra's voice actress doing a slightly different voice. Does not sound like a cat at all. Seems I've reinforced the cat's enmity toward me. Haven't done myself many favors in Mitra's book either. In retrospect, I might well have just told her the truth, but the words just didn't come out. Maybe I've been spending too much time around that girl. Her pseudo-sundere seems to like it. <laughs> seems like it might be rubbing off on me slightly. Well, that's all well and good. But what do I do about this net? Oh, hey, Sachi! It's been a while. You seen Amine around? I'd appreciate it if you told me where she is. I see. Guess I'll head over there then. What? Oh, brother. Of course, Amine posted it on Facebook. She made the biggest leap in logic ever and then told everybody. And just to add weird humor to the game. Um, no. No, it's not. Nope. You're wrong. Nope. I see. So that's what this is about. Nope. Mm, nope. 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 Listen, Sachi, there's a misunderstanding of Amine's. Pure fantasy. There's no truth to what you're imagining. Well, I appreciate that, Sachi, but if I turn into a psychopathic murderer, you should not respect me. I see. Nice to hear, I have to admit, though. The look of pain, determination in your eyes, and the way you're chewing your lower lip leave me slightly with mixed feelings. Okay, bye, Sachi. What a joke. Forget it, Sachi. Amine, you in there? I destroyed your laundry bag, or your laundry net, but you also spread a completely false rumor around, so we'll call it even. The net I borrowed from you ended up getting torn to shreds. Sorry about that. I'll get you an equivalent replacement later. Oh, I wouldn't. After what she just pulled, I would not do that. <sighs> I don't wear a bra. You, you absolutely did. But you do. How do you think that this is in any way, in shape, or form appropriate to talk about? I'm telling you, I don't wear a bra, woman. I grab Amine's hand and push it firmly up against my chest. What do you think? That's not what I'm asking. Does it feel like I'm wearing a bra? Glad we've come to an understanding. I'll be going now. Can we flip her off? Please? 
crying out loud, as there are countless varieties of awkward misunderstandings in the world, but this one has really distinguished itself on the mentally draining scale. Oh, hey. <laughs> that's, that's what you see anytime you enter the school dorm. This ain't gonna be good. Literally, they could have just recorded a guy just like, hiss. And that would have been just as good as what they did for the cat. Like a cheap LCD screen, the truth changes color based on your perspective. Best to view it from a fixed angle. Find a few sources you can trust and stick to them. Even actions you take with the best of intentions can be easily warped through misinterpretation into strange misdeeds. Happens every day, in fact. I sink into the sofa and heave a heavy sigh. 